why beer? Um, it is relatively easy to make and it gets done quickly um, for the most part. Um, and uh, it could be just as complicated as wine and, uh, you know, as, as deep a uh, deep flavor profile as wine. And there's lots of styles, hundreds of styles of beer. So it's a, it's a pretty, good, uh, pretty good thing to make. Cool. Uh, why do you think some people are still resistant to craft beer as in consumers? I honestly don't know. Like, does somebody go to a curry restaurant and say, give me the blandest fucking curry you have? <laughs> like, it, I, it's just, like, I get people coming in and say, oh, this, uh, this beer's too strong. Too strong how? Uh, too much alcohol? No, 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 too much flavor. Like, I just don't get it. Would you go up to a restaurant and ask for the most bland thing on the menu? No, I want something with flavor. I, I, I really don't get it. Like, I don't know why people would resist craft beer. I honestly don't. Plexus beer. <laughs> You're truly best. Yes. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite movie? Well, that changes quite a bit. Um, yeah, I, I've been well into the Trailer Park Boys lately. I've been seriously enjoying them. Uh, uh, Strange Brew is a classic. I mean, you really, really can't go wrong with Strange Brew. I, I probably have to say Strange Brew. Uh, looking to a crystal ball, what's going on in the craft independent beer uh, industry in 10 years? In 10 years, I think um, we'll, we'll probably easily have doubled or tripled our, um, uh, our share of the pie. Um, people are going to be more into wild beers, sour beers, um, uh, you know, different, different styles, and even bringing back styles that are now um, extinct. And there's plenty of them around that um, that just aren't made anymore. So I think uh, people are going to be more and more uh, experimental, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. Do you think there's room enough for everyone? Do you think the, the market's getting oversaturated? I don't think we're getting saturated, but at some point in time, there needs to be a correction because um, just because. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, I, like just because there's the word craft in front of it doesn't mean it's a good beer, um, and. Uh, once people in Ontario understand it a little bit more, then um, I think there will be a correction. It's kind of like throwing organic in front of food, right? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why bother? Is it really? No. Does not. that make it good food? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so I, I think that, that that will be looming, um, and uh, uh, which which will hopefully um, you know lean it out a little bit. Uh, but there's still there's so many people in the province of Ontario. Um, like we're nowhere near saturation. Nowhere near. Okay. Good. What's the oddest, craziest beer tour you've had through here? I know you've only been over a year, but uh, we were on your first one. Yes. So it's, like, um, it's come full circle now. What's happened in a year? Craziest beer tour. I uh, had a guy that wanted to propose um, to his girlfriend on a tour, but he never did it. <laughs> So I don't know when that happened. Changed his mind. And went I, to well, I, he might have done it at the restaurant afterwards, but we cleaned up the whole brewery, expecting him to him, him to pop the question, but he never did. Maybe like, she asked for a Budweiser. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, no. She, they, they, no. They were. They were. They were. They were a really good couple. So. Um, um, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure they've they've gotten married. <laughs> uh, what's uh, what's your favorite band? Music. Spotify uh, playlist. Yeah, um, I'm glad you said Spotify. I've been on Spotify for years. It was in Britain before it was over here. Um, rock, I'm a big Who fan. I don't think there's anyone better than the Who. Um, I also enjoy my blues. Uh, Snooky Pryor, Mel Brown when he was still alive. Um, uh, and one of my all-time favorites, Albert, Albert Collins, the master of the telecaster. Uh, what's the most mind-blowing, innovative beer you've ever had? Yours or someone else's? Um, well, there's been so many. One one I really, really enjoy is the um, Soriachi Ace from uh, Brooklyn. I think that is just a, a lovely, lovely beer. Um, one of the ones that I've done that, you know, like when you create a beer, you've got sort of a palate you get the flavor in your mind, and it's translating that out into the into the liquid. Uh, we did a um, we did a coffee oyster stout with uh, Cottle's Catch and uh, uh, DVLB, and that, that was I, I hit every single note I wanted to in that beer. It was beautiful, um, and we'll, we'll we will be doing that one again. But we need to have get 100 people in to help shuck 
300 kilos of oysters because <laughs> it's a lot of work. I've had a few other, a couple other breweries have done that too. I think it's very tasty. Yes, and uh, we, but we, not uh, overpowering. It's not like uh, no, it's no. Like so fish. we got yeah. So we got like a like a sea breeze taste up front. Um, nice coffee. So so we use the cold brewed coffee, which doesn't impart any bitter uh, uh, any uh, um, bitterness to it. Um, and then we got like the coffee notes in the middle, and then sort of a salty seaweed taste at the end. And um, since we chucked the shells in, we got all that calcium out, out of the shells, and the body was just really held up well. It was, a, it was a good beer. So what were you doing before you started making billions of dollars making beer? I'm waiting to make those billions. <laughs> struggling, struggling to make to make money, period. Um, I was a scientist. Uh, so I, I was studying yeast over in Edinburgh. Um, I was there for 10 years. Um, I wasn't studying it for brewing. Uh, we use it um, uh, to study because they're very similar to us on a cellular level. And we can mutate them and... Um, um, the world lots of them and there's no yeast rights movement so we don't have to worry about nut bars breaking into an animal facility in the middle of the night and ruining decades worth of research uh, and then that was a natural segue into brewing because the sort of mystery ingredient was no longer mystery anymore I dealt with it on a daily basis it yes it does and I've done many experiments with um, you know just split split like 100 liters of wort up five different ways and pitched five different yeasts and completely different products out at the end so it's a, it's an easy way of getting two products out of one. You pitch one yeast in in, in that one and a different yeast in this one. And we actually just did that this week. We did a, uh, we did a heffy and uh, we split it 50-50. We put a heffy yeast in one and um, uh, just a regular USO5 strain in the other one. So we'll have a uh, heffy and then a um, what's the style uh, American wheat, and they'll be completely different, which is pretty cool. All right, last question: Someone living or dead, you'd love to. Jeez, uh, maybe Winston Churchill. He was a pretty, pretty good leader. Interesting to see what he takes on modern, modern politics. Awesome. Pretty good. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Thank you. My pleasure.